Hi, this is a video about my, I guess, possibles pouch. Uh, it's in a small little low prow camera bag, camera case. And I used a, a case in the past for holding an MP3 player, but now I have a few bits and pieces in it. First up, some Vicks inhaler. I suffer from severe sinusitis and uh, I need to have this around all the time and I use it just to keep my airways clear plus it's a bit of a picker up if you're not feeling the best I switch out of the, the light source every so often this is a El Cheapo uh, one that I, on a keyring that I picked up in a little survival tin it has a UV light a f pretty dim but okay LED light and it also has a laser pointer which is good for signaling and for annoying the cat or playing with the cat attached to it i have a small metal whistle it doesn't get so cold where i am that i have to worry about the thing freezing to my mouth and it's just attached on a little keyring you have a popular lip balm chapstick which has a million uses not the least of which is keeping your lips from cracking can be used to start a fire, can be used to disinfect or you know, relieve small um, scratches or bites. In here currently I have a citronella tea light candle. That's because I went somewhere the other way down. There could have been mosquito problems, so I took the citronella with me. I also have a small folding knife. Nothing great, but it'll do the job. The ever-present mini Bic lighter works fine. I have a roughly cut down tea light candle just as a bit of extra illumination or warmth if need be. Uh, to be honest I forgot it was in the bottom of the pouch so I just reached in there. A Swiss card classic from Victorinox. has a fairly dull blade but we'll do in a pinch. Uh, scissors are in here and my thumbnail is cracked so I won't let me pull it out easy. Scissors. Nail file screwdriver. A pair of tweezers. Toothpick. And a pen. I have a couple of these Swiss card classics. Uh, one I rotate in and out of my wallet, the other one I keep in this because this is pretty much with me most of the time. Also a little edge for measuring if you're desperate to measure something. I have a spoon tin opener bottle opener. Um, the edges on this are pretty sharp kind of an extension of what would be on a P38 or P51 but the advantage that the Australian and British military have is that this comes with a spoon so pretty much everything a soldier needs really or somebody needs you can open your bottle of beer or your bottle of drink you can open the can of beans or tuna and you can eat the can of beans or tuna and that's all that's in that pouch it does come with a belt loop area and a couple of small carry loops and there's a hole in it because as I said I used to have an mp3 player in there and that's where I ran the headphones out of in here is a pouch with a few little bits and pieces a little snap lock bag which I have some ibuprofen I suffer from pain all the time so I keep some with me, I have some on my keyring and some in my wallet. A couple of alcohol prep pads, a disinfectant handy wipe, wet wipe, a couple of band-aids, a Fresnel lens which is useful not just for starting fire but also for first aid, checking for ticks, scratches etc. Um, you know, if you've got to pull something up the tweezers and you can't see what you can't see it properly, well, just magnify it up. Oh, look, a couple more band-aids. 
Um, I'm surprised I don't have any wa anti uh, water purification tablets, which I normally keep in there. So that is what I carry in that pouch. I do swap out a couple of different. Um, sometimes I don't have this. I have a couple other little lights or things that I use, but I took this one because I was going somewhere on the weekend where the cat was, so I played with the cat. But, uh, that's my possibles pouch. Hope you enjoy.